Hello creators, Movavi has a new update. So Movavi Video Editor Plus has updated to version 21.3 and it has added some really cool new features. Now we have motion tracking also for titles and stickers, eight transitions with sound for creative videos, hotkeys for audio recording, change the speed of your video without audio distortion, and adding a vertical file to a project if the project settings don't match the aspect ratio of the file change the project settings in one click. So we're going to look into all of these in this video, starting with motion tracking first. So they added previously the motion tracking for the masks and the highlights, but they didn't have it available for stickers or text. Um, I'd like to see this eventually available for your own clip art so that you can use like it on overlays, but we'll see if they add that too. So I'm going to take some footage here that I can track. So I've got this guy here walking. We've also got some audio I recorded. We're going to test with the audio distortion. But I'm going to do some motion tracking with a face on this guy. So we're going to grab, let's do this laughing face. So when I go to clip properties, we now have a new motion tab and I can choose to track his face. So I'm actually going to go ahead and have to move this guy. Okay, get out of there so I can see his face. We're going to make it a little bit smaller and then I'm going to go back to motion tracking and I'm going to choose his face. Now I can track it and now this is attached to that. So as it moves, it's going to move with his face. But uh, it's over here right now, so we're going to go ahead and grab it. And wherever I move it, wherever I have it on the screen, whatever size it is, I can change it after I track it. It's going to follow his face. So, da da da. And I actually done this previously with the animation on this video with a picture of a cat's head. And uh, it worked really well, but it was a little jumpy. This is way better and much faster than, the, than what I did. All right, so this opens up a lot of new things. So now you can motion track with stickers and you can also do the same thing with titles. So if I take some basic text here, then I can attach it as well with motion. And then we're just, let's attach it to his face. So now it's attached to his face and it's going to move with him. Like that. So that works with titles and stickers now which is awesome because that's what I was really disappointed about when they introduced it before because I assumed when they said motion tracking that it would apply to stickers and it did not so that was really disappointing okay so next up we're gonna look at the t the transitions with sound so we have these new with sound transitions and all of these have their own unique sound I'm gonna throw in some backgrounds we can switch between here just to look at these. Okay. And you can see they all have their own, they actually look different down here compared to the regular transition. So like if I have a regular transition, you can see it's different. Um, you can still drag it and change it, change its size, but it has a sound attached. Like that. And then let's see this one. Goodness. Let's do let's do that one again. Ah, it's much shorter. There we go. Okay. Okay, so it sounds like a camera. There we go. Then we got this glitch effect here. I always add those sound effects for that anyway, so this just makes that a lot easier. Though I don't care for some of these sounds. Um but it does make a huge difference when you're doing transitions if you have a sound effect with it. Boom. That's different. Whip sound. Ka-ching. So some different sound effects to go with whatever you're doing. The ripple sound effect. I always add a water sound effect. So, that's awesome. Eh. Could be better. Oh, I love the, that one. That shatter is awesome. Okay, so there's all the sound of, or the sounds and transitions that are good together. And next up we had hotkeys for audio recording. 
So if I'm in the program here and I click Control R, it jumps me to this screen so I can start recording there. That's nice. I love hotkeys. So that will make that a little easier to get to now. You can speed up your editing process. Processes. All right. Then next up, we've got change the speed of your video without audio distortion. This is great. I tested this earlier, and it's it's interesting. It still sounds a little funky, but it, it's pretty cool. So this is my voice on normal. See what if what the voice distortion does now. Okay. And now I can go into its properties and I can speed it up. Chipmunk version. What the voice distortion does now. Right. So if I can change the speed without distorting. And now I can change it back to its original tone by clicking this check mark. And it's going to do this. Just testing. Wanted to see what, if, what the voice distortion does now. So if I can change the speed without distorting my voice. So it sounds like it, it, it kind of works. It's kind of neat. I, I, I really like that. I don't remember this normalize button being here. Um, so I'm going to see what that does. The voice distortion does now. Okay. What the voice distortion does now. I wonder if that's a vol to go with the volume. I'll do some further testing on all of this and do individual videos on some of the bigger, um, the bigger new features. But we're going to figure that one out. That's really cool. So the last new thing is when you drag down vertical files, it will offer to go ahead and change it to match it with just one click. So a slight change there, not too big a deal, but that's what it is. Um, I'm really excited about some of these new features, and I'm looking forward to testing them further. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Movavi Video Editor Plus tips, tricks, and tutorials.